this quick tutorial video on how to paint your grills which are for your enterprise model which is the 1350 scale um, which is a big model so the grills which are part of your uh, nacelles um, which are the grills that are on the inner sides of your nacelle um, that is your grill painted with all the nice stripes all peering through so I'm going to do my best to attempt to show you how to do this it's pretty damn simple you obviously have your grill which is your piece of plastic with the grooves in you will need some masking tape now in UK terms this masking tape is um, one millimeter in width length whatever you not length um, width um, so that is what I'm using and that is from um, I'm probably gonna repeat this but anyway I'll go through it again that is from model craft um, I got these online because we're in lockdown right now um, you will also need two cans of spray paint now I'm using rust-oleum surface primer one is grey and rust-oleum again surface uh, stuff and that is black matte and that is all you need so you need your masking tape you need a knife with a thin edge to apply the masking tape in you need one coat of the grey allow that to dry it's recommended uh, touch dry in 20 minutes and then after that do two coats of this one and you do the same let it dry and then do another coat and do a very thin coat per one so let me show you hopefully a better way I'll demonstrate now how I did that so you get your grill for your nacelle um, nacelles and what you need to do is grab yourself um, now I got these online uh, at the moment so I've got some um, they are model from model craft and you can get these in various sizing this one is um, a two millimeter one um, but I've bought um, for the purpose of this um, some one millimeter if you can see there one millimeter um, wide um, masking tape what you need to do now this is where it um, gets a little bit precarious but what you have to do is in the grooves you have to put a bit of masking tape in each groove so it takes a while but all you need to do is take your time uh, now I found I was trying to get like um, an implement that wasn't going to scratch or anything like that and I found that that wasn't really possible so I'm using a cheapo craft knife which snaps off um, relevant sections so it keeps it smart, uh, sharp and from I'm going from the pointed end to the other end and I just line up so you can see it's really small so I line up I'm just going to get the light in a bit better for me I line up the um, masking tape with a good amount uh, hanging off and I basically put line it into well onto the groove because the grooves even though they're there they are quite small um, so I take that and I let it glued down onto the surface and literally I am pushing as I go holding it relatively straight as I go and pushing down that masking tape into the groove um, along and I keep going all the way along now you do that for every single line there should be five lines once that's done what you then need to do is so what you need to do next after that is you um, after you've masked is you take some now I've got two different colors so it's rust-oleum which is the make and I've got some grey and this is just um, your primer so grey primer and then I've got some more rust-oleum but in a uh, matte black finish um, so what you do is on your um, grill so keeping it facing up don't need you don't paint the back you just paint the front um, so what you do is with your grey first now don't go right close do exactly what it says on the tin you do it 20 centimeters or higher I went higher um, and I just went and, and brought the distance down as far as I dared and I did a very light spraying on on that um, so as that there was no leakages possible that you were going to happen now when you're doing your masking make sure that the, you dab it right down in um, into the groove to make sure it's adhered onto 
and then so you spray it with a gray and then you leave that to dry um, it says touch dry in about 20 minutes so then you go over with the black i did one coat of the gray and two coats of the black so once that's done um whoops you are left with this which is a blackened grill um i've still got the tapes on and i don't know if you can see in camera but none of the masking tape seems to be black on the uh, on the bottom, which hopefully means this is worked and it's fine. Um, so what we need to do is just take the masking tape off. So all five strands I'm pulling um, off like so. Um, lovely and messy as it is. And then what you should have is. Um, it should be so if I show you with actually now I'm going to do it a different way so what you've got is them all taken off so now what I need to do is I'll show you it with a light now obviously in the um, in the actual model I'm going to be using a strip lighting but just for the purpose of demonstrating this I'm going to just use a blue LED for you so You've got your painted thing and this is what it should look like so it'll have a nice oops um, it'll have a nice if you see there you've got the black stripes and then you've got the light in, on there so that is pretty darn brilliant i think and just to show you even more there is a light going through with all the grooves nice and clear now isn't that amazing so once you're done and well this will be painted eventually but what you have is the grill goes inside and as you can see you can see behind you can see the, the stuff behind which is great and you've got the nice lines all along there i mean how nice is that so yeah, what will happen is on the inside, on the back point, I will have an LED strip, which will probably be put onto this side, and then somehow, and then that will uh, shine onto the other side, which will be painted white eventually. I'm going to obviously light block it, paint it white again, and then that will shine the light onto the grill, and then it should just be a nice smooth blue hue, which is nice on there. How cool is that? So that is how you do your grill for your Enterprise Refit model.